we want to talk about uh, making selections and um, quite often uh, we will want to select um, or make changes to part of an image in Photoshop and so you do that by selecting groups of pixels um, of course we can select the entire object but um, quite often we want to select just part of an object so we have a couple of different tools that do that the first group of tools that we want to look at is the selection tools themselves you have the rectangle tool you have the oval tool and then you also have the uh, single row of uh, pixels um, tool which we really don't use very much at all um, but these two the rectangle and the oval we use quite a bit and uh, then we're going to take a look at using uh, the lasso tools and um, so they uh, which are more for freeform shapes so we use all of these uh, together and we can mix and match them and I'll just start with the oval and I bring it over and I select part of my image now if I make any kind of a change um, or I apply a filter I'll go right up here under image adjustments and I'll come down to hue and saturation and you can see very easily that when we make a change that change takes place within and only within the selected area okay so um, we use these tools um, quite a bit and um, when we also use these tools we can add to selections and take away from the selected area and um, I'm going to Get you to look at here in the upper left hand corner underneath the word Photoshop we have several different filters that we can use to do that the first one is to add to a selection so I will click that and now when I use the selection tool notice that it is going to expand the area notice I overlap the first area and you can see it's now a larger area okay and um, if I go to the next tool or the next little filter up here it subtracts takes away from the selection so let's try that and I'm going to switch to um, a different tool one of the uh, marquee or what we call the lasso the lasso tools and so um, here I'm going to use the takeaway and notice if you can that there's a little minus by the way next to the symbol indicating that it's going to remove part of the selection so I will just click and drag this big chunk and once again you see it made the selection smaller so um, we um, have a couple of these different filters and again we can mix and match using the different selection tools you can also um, on the fly if you will uh, using shortcuts I can press the shift key and it automatically gives me the um, add to the selection okay there again you see I just added to it and I can press the option on PC alt to take away from the selection there again okay so we have the uh, shift and the option alt keys to do it on the fly or we can do it from up here in the upper corner picking these filters the um, another thing about making selections is that we can either have a hard edge from any selection here I'm going to make an oval and I'm just uh, clicking my big delete button and you see it has a hard edge to it I can also with any of these tools again with the lasso tools or these rectangle um, or oval tools I can add before I make my selection I can add feathering 
right up here in the options bar. Remember, the options bar always has the things that affect how the tool behaves. And so I'm going to put in um, a 10, for instance, 10 pixels. And now, when I make a selection, and if I'm going to do that from the options bar, I have to add the feathering before I make the selection. So here's the selection, and notice now the difference. You see a feathered edge and or a hard edge. We can also, um, if we forget to add the feathering before we make our selection and uh, we want to uh, uh, do that, there is another place that we can um, add the feathering um, after we've already made the selection. So here's a selection. Okay, you see it would be a hard edge, all right? But I can go up under the main menu, select, modify, and feather. Select, modify, and feather. And here, I can add the amount after I've already made the selection. And there you see how that works, okay? Um, the uh, next way that we um, can make a selections or a part of an image is by the color of pixels. And we do that with the next tool called the magic wand. The magic wand right here. And when we uh, click on part of the image with the magic wand, you see it selects part of the image. Now, um, this tool behaves um, in a way that allows us to either get more of the image or less of the image. And once again, it has to do with looking at the options bar. Where the feathering was, there is now a thing called the tolerance. The tolerance. And the idea here is very simple. If there's a small number in the tolerance, let's say a 10, and I click on a dark pixel, all it does is select a very small area of pretty much the exact same or very close to that color pixel that I clicked on. Okay, And um, if I put in a higher number in the tolerance, what that's going to tell the computer is I want you to grab a larger or wider um, group or array of colors. So when I put in a 40 and I click on um, uh, this pixel, you see I've got a little bit bigger area selected. And the idea is that um, if I click on an area and I have a large number in the tolerance, it'll get lighter blue pixels in this case and darker blue pixels, which essentially means a much larger area is selected. And we can shift click to add uh, more of the selected area. We could, when we made the selection, have gone up in the main menu again and um, <coughs> added um, a feather. Okay. And basically, that's um, how we select parts of an image.